three years ago. I guess I'm having a flashback or something. This really isn't the time to have a flashback, but whatever. Oh yeah, I remember this. It was the night I had to buy like a year's worth of tampons because my bitch wife had a coupon or something. I can't believe I'm still wearing that ugly ass jacket. And have I always carried my groceries like that? That's weird. Man, I'm weird. That night, right as I was about to start working on the scariest novel ever, that fucking bitch lit a bunch of smelly ass vanilla candles and started whining about romance and the marriage or some stupid shit. Tell me a story, Alan. How about no? But Alan... Fine. When I was a little kid, I knew a stupid blonde girl who was afraid of the dark. When her mom told her to quit being such a crybaby about it, she was all, But ever since me and Jessica did that scary seance at Lindsay's house, blah 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 blah. So her mom gave her this stupid broken switch for some reason. But then I stole it from her and locked her in a dark closet for six hours. I love stories from when you and me were kids. It's you and I, moron. What does the switch do? It doesn't do anything. It's broken. Weren't you listening? She was never listening, so I figured I'd just better make out with her and get her to shut up. And flashback over. Dr. Grandpa keeps flashing that light in my eyes, asking me if I can see purple blotches. If you can see purple blotches, it's a sign of mental retardation! I'm getting fed up with those tiny bad trips. I'm okay, Dr. Gramps, I gotta go. Then the old man does this voodoo shit on me. I really don't know what that's all about. Well, you're probably not retarded. That was a joke. And you seem to be in decent health, Mr. Wake. You can go. I went back to the police again. You need to tell me what happened. She probably wouldn't believe me, but luckily right around then my phone rang. Hang on, it's probably my other girlfriend or something. It was a bad joke. But I'm a writer, not a comedian. Hello? Oh yeah, I'm doing it. I'm gonna let it go all over your Alice. wife's face. Come to the middle of the forest of the mountains if you want to stop me. And bring me a pack of smokes to PBRs while you're at it. You ready to go to jail, Mr. Wake, you murderer? Fuck you, pig. I'm getting out of here. Well, here's your stupid... Where's my book pages? No. I was about to say, here's your stupid book pages. Try not to leave them lying around in the woods. Leaving book pages round up there can really negatively affect the reproductive cycles up there of the beavers up there, don't you know? I'm Dr. Dipshit, and I'm here to get you crackledy cracking on your stupid book, Mr. Wake. You better just back up, old but man. But Dr. Dipshit thinks you should get crackledy cracking. I touch you. Well, you'd like that, wouldn't you? It's part of getting crackledy cracking with Dr. Dip. I'll crackledy crack you in the face, bitch. Join him loose, you backwoods lunatic! Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. And he doesn't need to get crackledy cracking on anything if he doesn't want to. Oh, I think my nose is crackledy broken, officer. But it's okay. I'm okay. But think about joining my program, Mr. Wake. It's pretty awesome. Why the hell did you hit Dr. Dipshit? He seemed pretty cool. Wait up, Alan! 